four, three, two, one, go. Hey guys, Ranch and European Circle of Commentary. This is gonna be the first hit between C and Jadong in the Big Fall MSL quarterfinals 2010. C versus Jadong. Woohoo! Anyway, this is gonna be a polar strap. So the upper left in the corner playing is orange. Orange! Turn, of course, it's gonna be Sea Shield. Bottom right in the corner playing is red as Zerg is gonna be the Dong, the Grand Booba, the Pope, the man himself, the Dong, the Jade Dong, JD boy. JD or something. So, yeah, looking forward to this one. This is gonna be the final of the first sets of the, uh, of the round of eight, and then we're gonna move on to. This matchups, these matchups being continued, we can actually, you know, we'll get this round of eight over with and move on to other important things like semi-finals, finals, finishing off this season, see who wins, laugh, cry, have a party, laugh, cry some more, get drunk, puke, laugh, cry some more, fall asleep, wake up and wish you had never done any of that you had done previously. Sounds like a fun night out. But yeah, I'm expecting pretty standard fare from both of these guys. Jadon kind of, yeah, along with everybody else, um, playing very standard Zerg versus turn play. And he is arguably the, or maybe even not so arguably, is the best ZVT player in the world. Uh, best Zerg player in the world, in fact. And I think in that title, he's still very much uncontested. It looks like he's going to put down the barracks, so it looks like he's going to go for one Rex at Expo. Don't see his refinery. I don't think he's right. Nope, refinery not being put up, so yeah, definitely... Ref definitely one Rex and Expo on the opposite side. It looks like Jadon going to go for a 12 hatch. Just play that usual 12 hatchy Zerg and versus Terran stuff. And uh, first game we had between Light and Effort was on this map. It was really fun. Their first set very interesting. Uh, very interesting game. So I really like uh, Polaris Rhapsody for this matchup. Uh, those n 9 and 3 positions bring up some very interesting plays. The corners with a double gas. And good for Zerg. Uh, harder for Terran to hold those, so they might not go for that. But if you allow a Zerg to basically take the entire northern part of the map and uh, hold it, get some, get get to Hive quickly, get those Nidus, and then transition to one of the corners, especially in this position, maybe for Jadon, or that of the south part for this this time for Jadon take the entire south part of the map and then maybe transition to the 3 o'clock position you might find yourself in a little bit of trouble Less, does look like he's going to go for 3 hatch build here just going to expand there meanwhile now White always with the chicks seriously White is always talking with chicks after games especially when he wins just hey baby come on over here baby let me, sh let me show you how to make some live that was me imitating the Marauder for those of you that are interested you're going to get a scout in there, going to spot the extractor coming up just now. And did I actually see a spawning pool come up? I'm not too sure, although I think it's coming up. I think the hatcher came in a little bit too late for it not to be coming up. Commander Sermi won't be put up as old Marine. Not going to be able to force that old Lord away. Jadong should actually be able, should have been actually been able to spot everything he needed to spot with that old Lord. I think he should have. Should think he has just enough vision to spot the Commander Sermi just running outside. Yeah, the yeah, spawning pool came up, so Zerling's out there. Running around, being annoying, and taking everything. If I sound a little bit erratic, partially it's because it's midnight, and partially it's because I'm tired, and partially it's because I haven't had my combo of caffeine, sugar, and booze to keep me going, and because I was watching Eddie Izzard, and Eddie Izzard talk like this, it just goes on endlessly, and you don't know what's going on, and then he brings up a random subject that has nothing to do with the source material, but then he eventually goes back to the source material, and he also writes on his hand, and he says things like, should be funny, and that should have been. Lair coming up, and uh, C doing a good job there, just keeping the SCV inside. Should be, should get it killed. So only 20, 20 out of sixty left. Jill's gonna get straight out of dodge. Spotted the second extractor. Just has pretty much everything under wraps, and just trying to stick around with it. Of course, the optimal position for the SCV is to get, see the spire coming down. But uh, with those SCVs, with those zerglings, I'm sorry, on top of the ramp, there's no way the SCV is gonna be able to do that. So he can go ahead, run back home before he gets his ass killed. Marine's actually going to greet that Zerg going across the bridge. Going to get a few pot chats at this old Lord. Hello. 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 I don't know why I did that. I am such a racist. Factory coming up now. Machine shop up in the way. Star party up there. So, yeah. See, just 
playing very safe, just a one base. Not really producing much in the way of troops. Has only one racks in there. On the opposite side, I do see an Evo Chamber come up. Lair on the way, and don't see a single spire. There we go. There's a spire coming up, but it does look like Jianong already readying himself for transitioning. It does look like he's going to... I think he's actually going to be working on upgrades on his for his Zergling. He's working maybe on Carapace. Maybe in Weapons 1 upgrade. Occasionally, you do see his report go for that, but probably going to be Carap Carapace 1 upgrade on his Ground Forces um, to maybe help those Zerglings. His middle can maybe go for a Zergling middle attack, and also to help him once he transitions into Lurkers, because that is the standard thing to do. He might not go heavy Lurker the entire game, but you will transition into Lurker just to help hold the turn off while you expand. Uh, quick Vulture out there, Engineer Bay also coming up, and I don't see an Academy out there yet. So this is very, very quick teching, actually, now that I think about it. Don't see an Academy out there, just a Science Facility. Very quick teching here from C. And uh, uh, yeah, very very quick ticking. Usually at this point you would see some you would see some academy action, some stim action, but yeah, he's kind of reacting fairly well to what Jaehyung has going on. Of course, delayed his own tick a little bit. Uh, well, that hatchery coming up and search. Gonna get his spire out there soon enough though. So, but see, I'm thinking should have the answer if he starts putting down turrets soon because he's not in the best of position to react to this. Isn't really going very heavily on ground troops. Just pretty co continuing a constant production of marines. Has some vultures out there. Really curious build. Going for speed for the vultures, I think first. And might be working on mines. Still don't see an academy out there. So I'm wondering when these eventually transition into ground force. Does put up some turrets right now. And Mutilus should be popping any minute now from his opponent Jay Daong. But his marines are not gonna have any stim. Not gonna have any range. Not gonna have any medic. Support either three vultures just running out there, not going to bypass that sunk on, especially with those zerglings on top of the wrap. I don't think those vultures are really going to be able to get up there and do the damage that they want. But that one's going to be Mutilus coming out. And I wonder, let's see. Well, there's he actually has the defenses for this. He should be putting up a bunch of turrets. I think he's just trying to entrust his defense to a bunch of marines and uh, hopefully a large amount of turrets. And maybe the science force is going to be popping up in a second. Get a nice irradiate in there, and that will hold off the Mutilisk for a while. So I'm really actually liking this interesting build. Uh, Jaehyung actually going to double expand towards the 6 o'clock in the low left hand position. The 7 o'clock. Meanwhile, Jaehyung has his Mutilisk out there. Marines out there. No stim, nothing like that. Has a bunch of turrets trying to come as much as possible. Waiting on his science force to come out. But you got to be careful. Mutilisk also can do a heavy lot of damage on those. Just going to be waiting until we can utilize that irradiate. Make sure. I think there are scourge inside of those Mutilisks, though. So you got to be very careful with that science vessel. Turrets right now. Marines holding off. A few turrets here inside the main as well. Scourge almost getting. Oh, Scourge going to get the science vessel. No. Oh, man. Uh, Jaden took a lot of damage in that engagement, just flying around those mutalisks. But, man, that science vessel was a huge loss. Huge loss. Jaden not going for the kill with the mutalisks. Simo is going to spot everything out, and I'm almost yawning. My god, I apologize. Not because the game is boring, because it's 12 o'clock and I don't have any caffeine, sugar, or booze in my system. Too much blood in my caffeine system, damn it. Caffeine stream. Yeah, I'm kind of a coffee addict now. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like, yeah, he is just going to transition into Marine, uh, Medic Marine now. Should have Academy on the way, and all those upgrades going up. But really interesting, just quick teching up. Uh, losing the science also though, definitely a hitch in his plan, not really, maybe, I uh, <laughs> did not want that to happen, <laughs> I have to rethink things, but I think honestly he should also keep a vulture, pro uh, vulture production, because mines out there are going to be a big help, especially when you have those workers mowing around, they can also get caught by them, look, a couple of hydras, ooh, mine, kablam! So that's a couple of Hydras that will not be turning into lurkers. And Vultures are going to go towards the 6 o'clock, spotting this out. Oh, hello, drones. You die now. Uh, going to get chased down by those Mutas, but actually with a speed upgrade. Actually just going to go out there and survive just fine. And there's a moth in my room again. Um, yeah, my entire, yeah, pretty much my entire freaking house. Moth here, horsefly there, spider in the bathroom. I've had to kill three so far. While I was standing naked in the shower, just finishing up, and then spider. Oh my god, it's a spider! Oh my god! Ah! No, I'm not really scared of spiders, but it's kind of creepy taking a shower and you're kind of toweling off. And then, oh my god, it's a spider! Let's see, go back to StarCraft. <laughs> okay, he's actually putting up an armory at the moment. Uh, has three tanks out there, mulling it out with quite a few medic marines at this point. Finally going to be so Radiate going to get off. Oh, Jadong with a not often seen late split of the Mutalisks. 
So that entire group, oof, significant damage. One of those, ouch. Has lurkers out there, but that's, that's, oh, second radiate. Unfortunately hitting a bad Muta this time. A significantly damaged Muta, but that Muta group is just completely, not, yeah, not worthless, but pretty badly damaged. So the Medic Marines is just going to rip through it now. Has a, quite a few Marines running around. Some of these science, some of these mines going to get taken care of. But Jadong has the two additional bases up. Did take a little bit of damage, but see, slowly transition towards that four siege tanks just to make sure uh, that he doesn't lose those. Unfortunately for Jadong, he doesn't have those Mutalists in there with quite strong enough to snipe all those tanks maybe. Doesn't have a very significant supporting force, but science vessels against those orcs is going to be significant. Maybe be able to get some irradiates off, but just support overall, and that's going to be a critical factor, sieging and unsieging his tanks. Kind of just taking this position here on the high ground, not really trying to push down towards the lower position, because he knows that as soon as he pushes out, he's going to be uh, see that is As soon as he pushes towards the bases, he's going to leave himself open to some counterattacks, just going to stimming his medic marines, trying to get himself position. Only two, uh, two medics to support. Few Marines running in from, from the back to uh, to resupply reinforcements. They're going to get taken care of by Jadong fairly easily. And now he's a little bit... Now see, unfortunately, he's boxed in. Has forces from both sides. Force, a lot of force coming in from the back. Moodle is getting ripped into a secondly, but a lot of workers are going to come in at the same time. Science Vessels, Science Vessel picking off both Science Vessels get picked off by the Scourge. All the tanks go down. Absolutely clutch attack there by Jadong. See, might still get something done with these Marines, but I doubt only six Marines in there. Workers at the... Okay, a few more than that. Seven Marines, that's one more. But all oh, together, Sunken Colon at the front of the Lorcas at the back, and no science also in there that he's not going to get too much accomplished. Yeah, Jadon's just going to clean this up fairly well. Absolutely critical attack from the back there by Jadon. See, Mino going to try to take position back, running with with Vultures, trying to plant some mines down, and scanning locations. Seeing that there's no Hive coming up yet, so that's critical information from Jadon. Unlike some players like Effort and a few other Zerg players, they like to go for in this match. They like to go to Hive much quicker. But Jadong really likes to consolidate his forces. Really likes to make sure his economy is strong enough before he goes for the followers. And also, he really like staying a lurker play. He's, of course, very, very good with uh, Defars, and once he sees an opening, he definitely goes for Defars to support his lurker play. But unlike, say, Effort, who utilizes lurkers more as an auxiliary force, uh, Jadong really prefers to just have a mass of lurkers out there alongside some Zerglings and maybe a Muta grouping. Gonna work on a second Evo Chamber up, so gonna go work on his upgrades, weapons upgrades for his lurkers as well. I assume should have a third Evo Chamber out there somewhere as well. Uh, see, meanwhile, yeah, he's taken a, a, no, I could not, a little bit slight economic damage early on, but I think he actually paid it back by picking up several drones and such. Um, and gonna be able to deny this expo here. Dude, Vulture, go go kill that drone. Kill the drone. But couldn't be able to deny the 3 o'clock position, so going to at the very least deny Jadong's fifth gas. Jadong has the double gas, the low left in position. That's a good denial. Has a few mines, has a few tanks out there. Getting himself ready to expand towards the 9 o'clock position himself. He does have the inside 9, I believe, so at the very least consolidating his position there. Uh, safer for a turn player to kind of transition this box, uh, taking the 9 o'clock positions before transitioning into the 12 in the upper right hand. Kind of allows you to make more of a, tr a protective zone, easier to protect uh, around that zone here. A lot of Hydras, a lot of Hydras from Jadong. Definitely not all tra to transition towards Lurkers, who's kind of getting a bit of a mixed spotting. There are quite a few Vultures out there, a few, quite a few tanks who might want to engage. Otherwise, then with just Lurkers. Lurkers great against Bent Marines, but with tanks, they, especially without Defiler support, they're kind of troublesome, harder against tanks. A lot of mines are from Bunker trying to be put down. Just to help defend here. But looks like Jadong is thinking of going for it. Has a lot of Hydras here at the front. Bunker comes up. That's not going to stay up for much long uh, for long at all. Or never mind. Actually, it is being repaired by AC like crazy. It is going to go down. But there is there's a little bit extra life. Lurk is going to come in to support these Hydras. Most of the Hydras have gone down. A few of them still left. Mines doing some damage. Siege tanks here at the back of some medic Marines. I don't think this attack is going to be altogether successful. For Jadong, ooh, big mind there for C as well. So Jadong not doing too much. D does weaken the defenses though, so that it, it leaves it open. I see, it, uh, I'm sorry, we C significantly open for a second wave, but still C holds his position, getting the 9 o'clock position, getting that third guess he needs so much. Meanwhile, another wave is going to come here for Jadong, losing a lot as he tries to come in. Only a few Hydras here at the back, they're going to get pushed in. The engineering base is going to go down, so turrets are not going to come at a premium anymore. 25% deal 